Walter Masquerade is high. Uh, most people in Goa don't swim, right? I think a lot, most people across the world don't swim. But Goa being a coastal state. <laughs> yeah, so Goa is one place and earlier I was in Dubai and Mumbai. Although we have access to the pools, but people avoid, they are a little shy, they feel conscious and they feel that learning swimming is only for children, for kids. But then we missed it in our age itself. No? Yes. Why? Why? How did that happen? So it just happens that human human nature that you keep postponing. One day I will learn. One day I will learn. It's and not a big thing. No, learning swimming is not a big thing in Goa. You can learn any time in your life. Any time you decide. Of course, you need a good coach. You taught three thousand. I have taught three thousand people, and there are uh, quite a few in in Dubai, quite a few in Mumbai. And quite a few in uh, a lot in Goa. Over how many that, years? Yeah, this is over 30 years probably. Uh, 35 years I've been training, and I, I like to focus on one to one rather than having large batches of of kids. Not children. Not not children because children is very easy to train. The older people they are conscious, they are scared, and they also feel shy that that you know, or they get conscious that. Maybe I shouldn't let people know that I don't know how to swim. People might laugh at me. So they achieve, they they grow on to be like 50, 60, 70. And then it's like on their bucket list, oh, something I've not done. And that's the time quite a few of them have come to me. And, I, and they have fear of water. So you're teaching people at that age also? At that age also. Older? Yes. My oldest is 87. 87? 87 year old. And he was carrying this fear of water from the age of 9. So can you imagine when from 9 till 87 he had just had this fear but he had it on his list that someday he wants to learn and it, it took us just half an hour for him to overcome his fear of water. And how long would it take to learn? So it's like um, in, in about 10, 10 to 12 hours of regular practice you can actually learn but you need, you need gaps in between. How did you get into swimming? So, uh, swimming. Because your, your field is the air actually, no? Yeah, my field, uh, I mean, I, I, I am a scuba diver myself. I see. Yeah, I am an advanced level certified diver. So Indian I've Air got, Force, no? I was at the Indian Air Force. And of course, uh, as an engineer, so yeah. my interests have been varied. I, I love uh, traveling, I love adventure. And when you uh, achieve swimming, you can do so many other water sports. You are not scared of uh, doing river rafting or uh, scuba diving. So swimming is the basic. So very early in life, I struggled a lot. Yeah? Uh, I was in Busawal. I see. And we had a, a, a river which was very dangerous. That is a Tapti? Tapti river. Tapi river. Tapi Tapti. Uh, it's very dangerous uh, river because people uh, Drown. have drowned there. Every year we had one or two casualties. Uh, but when I joined the Air Force and Bangalore, I had my first uh, lessons and we used to cycle some 20-30 uh, kilometers yeah. and then later in Chandigarh I learned where I had to go, on my, go for 50 kilometers on my motorcycle uh, just to access a swimming pool. In India we don't have that many swimming pools but through the Air Force and various places I kept learning and uh, my coaches, I always invested in a coach. Uh, a coach is the one who will, you know, guide you properly. And they told me that, Walter, you are also a good listener and you are a good trainer. You start training. So, like, it's been uh, more than 35 years that I started training people to overcome their fear of water. What's the scene in Goa as far as swimming goes? So in Goa you have quite a few instructors. I mean most of the things are uh, many people, uh, the, the trainers, they just have these batches of 10-15 days classes. Whether you learn or not, they just forget you. Okay. But I don't do that. Um, I, I insist that once you join me, then you will learn properly. Do we have enough public swimming pools? Uh, we have public pools but many times they have been on maintenance or repairs. Okay. Like Fatorda is under repairs now. The Kampal has been under repairs for the last two years. Oh. And they have inaugurated it but they have not opened it to public. Very interesting. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that insight. Most welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Frederick.